second of the three title fights is going to be Amanda Nunes versus Megan Anderson. Nunes last defended, was it July? I think it was against Felicia Spencer. I just don't remember when it was. It was July or August. He I want to say. is terrifying, dude. You know, I was, I, was, I was thinking about this today when I was driving because we were talking about this as well. Um, Felicia Spencer, sorry, it was June. So, because uh, I believe her and her wife adopted a baby or something. So, Dana was like, you know, let her take her time. She can come back whenever the hell she wants. And so, nine months since her last fight. The, honestly, the, the, the most surprising thing to me about that Felicia Spencer fight was the fact that Felicia Spencer didn't die because she <laughs> got. I, I don't know how that fight was in 50 40. I, I think there was a ref that scored that 50 42. I because the scorecard was nuts on that. I mean, it's honestly big props to Felicia Spencer. She was getting hammered. She and she just she took it for 25 minutes. She got abused, used and abused for 25 minutes by Amanda Nunes. Um, that was the most shocking thing about that fight, not the result, but the, the fact that it was decision after eating that much from Amanda Nunes. <laughs> For me, this one's, I don't, I don't really see a question here. I'm, my pick is going to be Amanda Nunez, especially considering Megan Anderson's loss to both Felicia Spencer and Holly Holm, who, uh, you know, Amanda Nunez has beat. So yeah. I'm looking at that going, all right, well, she's beat Spencer. She's beat Holm. She's beat Cyborg. Uh, you know, she beat, she beat Rousey. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't even... I don't think you could question this one. This is the, to me. This is not. This is not one that needs any real. There's a reason. And I, I'm also agreeing. I take Nunes as well. And there's a reason. Um, the the line is minus twelve hundred for uh, Amanda Nunes and plus seven hundred for oh my God. Megan Anderson. It, Just, it's interesting because I was listening to DC and Helwani today. Uh, they were talking about this fight because they were doing their own preview too. So this is the the final fight on Megan Anderson's contract, <laughs> which is interesting. That your final fight is a title fight. That the final fight, obviously, if she somehow pulls it off, she's gonna get her. She's gonna still be fighting in the UFC. But I just found it very strange. I'm not seeing any other fight, by the way, for her besides this one fight, February 29th, 2020. She fought Norma Dumont. Has she only fought? Is this her only second UFC fight? I, I don't know. I don't know anything about her, so I'm not going to act like I do. But I've seen Nunez enough where I don't need to see anything really from her. The big benefit, the big advantage, and looking at it here, Megan Anderson is gigantic. She's six feet tall, 72 inch reach, where Nunez is 5'8 with a 69 inch reach. But like looking at the significant strikes per minute, you have four and a half for Nunez. You have not even two for Megan Anderson. Um, yeah, I don't over, even know if that matters so much. Just just looking at Nunez's record, you know, looking at the people that she's fought, it's almost like, well, what's the point? What's the? Uh, I forgot how many years it's been that since Nunez last lost. I think was it 2013 that she last lost, or 2014? 2014 is the last time Amanda Nunez lost against Kat Zagano. Is it possible to give people like a permanent belt? You know, like where. <laughs> That's it. It's like this is yours. That there's no, there's no point. To Residency. <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're, you're it. You're the featherweight champion for life. Don't worry about it. Uh. So she has the featherweight and she has the bantamweight, right? So you have, you have featherweight, bantamweight, flyweight, and strawweight for the women's. I, I was driving today. And I was thinking about. I was thinking about this fight. Well, more specifically, I was thinking about Amanda Nunes. And her her status, she is so leaps and bounds ahead of the competition in both of those divisions. There are some that are closer, but still, like she she will be the favorite regardless of who she fights. I almost wonder if she's bad for the sport in the sense that because <laughs> as a as someone that like I generally am, there's there's good women's fights I'm not gonna like say like there aren't any but generally For I'm sure. not overly entertained versus when I watch any other guys fight sometimes they're way better like you you have the exceptions like the the Joanna and um uh Wailing fight that was phenomenal there's been other there's been great fights I'm not saying there aren't any but with her she just thoroughly abuses everyone she fights and it's lopsided <laughs> so I almost wonder I'm like is is it a good thing that she's there in the sense that like what are these other women fighting for in those two divisions 
it's like, oh, we're going to go and get our ass handed to us by Amanda. Like, I don't look forward to watching Amanda Nunes fights because I'm like, she's just going to beat someone up for 25 minutes or less. And then that's it. Like, that's why I also don't enjoy watching like Bantam and Feather, like watching those women fight, even not Nunes, just watching them fight. Like, what's the point? They're going to win. Someone's going to become the number one contender and they're going to get spanked by Nunes until she inevitably retires or whatever. Uh, I, I, it was like a legit, like, legitimate thing I'm posing because th- here's the other thing. So when Ronda was her prominence crew, right? Everyone knew who Ronda Rousey was. Yeah. I didn't watch UFC then. I knew who Ronda Rousey was. You didn't watch UFC then. I'm pretty sure you know who Ronda Rousey oh, yeah. is. Now, that's only two people I'm giving an example of, but like we're, it's not just people like us. There's a lot of people that you just knew who Ronda Rousey was. It's this phenomenon ha- was going on. Now, granted, Amanda Nunes happened after Amanda Nunes beat Ronda, but she doesn't have that same notoriety. Like she's not like a household name the same way that Ronda seemingly was. So that's why it's like, I don't because Ronda was down, dominating people up to, until uh, until I forgot if she lost to Nunes first or if it was Holly Holm first, but she lost to both of those ladies. So before she lost to those ladies, she was dominating. So that was a little bit different in the sense like, is that bad for the sport? Well, people people knew they were their eyes were attracted to Ronda. I don't know how much attraction Amanda pulls. Maybe she doesn't. I'm unaware. But I'm just saying during versus that time versus now, I felt like Ronda's name was more emphasized and known versus Nunes. I mean, maybe what they need to do is, uh, is gut the women's featherweight division, dude. Cause it, there, there aren't really that many contenders, uh, in that way. Anyways, they might, you know, that's uh, something that uh, funny enough, Helwani said that today too. He's all like, could this be the, the last, like, could this be the end of the featherweight division? I mean, in which if, case she does get a permanent title, basically <laughs> like last women's, uh, featherweight UFC champion. I mean, they, dude, because let's be realistic. Let, let's look at these divisions right now. I'm looking at featherweight. So far, the only ranked people, as far as this site is concerned, is uh, Manny Nunez, Felicia Spencer, Megan Anderson, Zara Dos Santos. And there's a couple other people on here, but Leo Letson, Daniel Wolf. Uh, that's it. And then you drop one weight class down into the bantam weight, and there's plenty of women fighting. So maybe yeah. the right move is to nix the division, just entirely nix it, you know, let Amanda Nunez go down as the, the last champ for that. I, I don't know. Cause I remember we were having this conversation. Who was it that said, uh, who was it? One of the, they were thinking about cutting one of the men's divisions. Was it the men's flyweight? flyweight? Yeah. They, yeah. Were, they were thinking of cutting the flyweight and then Figueredo came out of nowhere and just started revitalizing that whole thing you know mm-hmm. and then moreno's in there now and the, now the flyweight is just solid it's exciting but, it's exciting totally dude i mean especially yeah. compared to the heavyweight i'd rather watch the flyweight fights than the heavyweight fights until you know daddy comes home again but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah like i don't know man maybe maybe that is something that the ufc needs to consider is just nixing that division um because i don't i don't see I don't see them being able to fill this out the same way that the bantams or the fly or the straw is filled out, you know, just in, in sheer numbers. I mean, that, that's why, oh, no, man, no, that's no. why Nunez holds two titles. That's why she's fighting at bantam weight. How many people can she possibly fight at fly? She, no, she, she's, or she's rather, I'm sorry. To, yeah. She, yeah. Exactly. I don't know, man. Um, I'm curious to see what will happen. I, I, I don't know if they'll nix it immediately. I don't know what will go down, but either way, f- for that fight, yes, we both have Nunes. It's oh yeah. I, I, I honestly, for Megan Anderson's sake, hopefully it's quick. <laughs> then it's not like how it was for uh, Felicia Spencer because that poor, that poor woman got her ass kicked for twenty five minutes like a rag doll. You know, I let me see if I can pull this up. Um, Amanda Nunes, Felicia Spencer scorecard because I I feel like. I remember a judge had that fight at 50-42. Um, and maybe a couple had it at 50-43. Um, I'm completely wrong, though. It was 50-44, 50-45, 50-44. I think I was thinking, why aren't they putting it 50-42 or 50? I thought maybe it was 50-40, to be honest. She just wailed on her. That wraps up that one. So, I mean, there's we're, we're beating that one to a pulp the same yeah. way poor Megan's <laughs> going to end up happening. There's... It, there's just no going around it. She's she's a immovable 
object, an immovable, whatever, it was an immovable force, unmovable, uh, whatever it is. That's what she is. That's why I'm like, is she seriously bad for the sport in that aspect? It's like, there's, she's so fleeps and bounds ahead. It's nuts. Whatever. That's that one. 